Welcome to our channel Dawn of Geospatial World where you explore the fascinating world of geospatial techniques. If you are passionate about geography, data and spatial analysis, you have come to the right place. In today's video, we will be learning how to identify lightning strike hotspot zones using TRMM and ISS list lightning date flash data. This analysis will give us insights into lightning flash density patterns across India from 2000 to 2022. If you missed our previous video on downloading lightning flash data, check that out first for the foundational steps. Let's go to ArcMap where I have already loaded the Indian state shapefile and the lightning flashpoint shapefiles. All the data is projected into the Asia North Lambert conformal conic projection to ensure spatial accuracy. For today's analysis, we will cover three main objectives ERO's lightning flash density, Mankoy's analysis of lightning flash density, and seasonal analysis of lightning flash density. To start, we need to merge all the ERO's datasets into a single dataset. Open the merge tool. Add all the yearly datasets and run the tool. Once merged, head over to the active table of this dataset. Export the table as a CSV file and open it in MS Excel. In Excel, add three blank columns after the flash column. Use the text to columns feature under the data tab to split the flash column into separate columns. Clean up the unnecessary columns. Rename the headers appropriately and convert the time values to Indian standard time using a formula. Now, load the cleaned CSV file back into ArcMap and plot the coordinates using the same projection as the Indian shape file. Your map canvas should now display the lightning flash points across India. Next, we need to segregate the data by year, month and season. Use the select by attributes tool in the attribute table to filter points for each year and month. For seasonal data, merge the monthwise datasets based on the IMD's seasonal classification. With the data prepared, it's time to calculate the lightning flash density. Use the kernel density tool to generate density layers for year-wise, monthwise, and season wise data. You can also streamline this process using batch processing.
after generating the density layers classify them into defined density ranges and assign distinct colors to each class for better visualization for statewise or divisional analysis use the intersect tool input the state shape file and the merged lightning flash point shape file export the resulting points attribute table as a csv file Open the exported CSV file in Excel. Clean up the column names and create a pivot table. Add state's name to rows and year, month, and time columns to columns. Use the events column as values. Repeat this for each analysis category and visualize the data with charts and graphs. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Dawn of GeoSpatial World.